It is now my honor to have the opportunity to introduce one of our strongest champions of child safety in the United States Senate and the Congress, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar. In Minnesota, she had a reputation of being a consumer advocate that she has taken to the United States Senator. She is a leader and she is a friend. The Senator was instrumental in securing passage of both the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act and the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act. She is a true champion for protecting children and the consumers. I am so happy that she was able to join us today and so pleased to have her support as we continue to build a new and an improved CPSC. Senator Klobuchar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Commissioner Tenenbaum. I, I note that you wore the Vikings purple today uh, in celebration of our win, so we really appreciate that. Um, and it is wonderful to be here. I don't know if you know that uh, Commissioner Tenenbaum actually had a lot of bipartisan support, which you can't say about everything in the United States Senate. Right now she had the support of both of her uh, Republican senators, DeMint, as well as Graham of South Carolina when she was nominated by President Obama to this job. And so uh, we're just very pleased. She's been doing a great job at the Consumer Product Safety Commission. I also want to thank, thank Mayor Coleman uh, for hosting us uh, at this great park. I, the temperature reminds me of many visits I've had with my daughter to water parks. I'm having evocative memories. Uh, and of course, being here uh, with the Taylors uh, is such an incredible honor uh, that both Katie and Scott have shown such uh, tremendous grace and courage uh, in dealing with such a family tragedy. Uh, I have often, I'm often asked by people, uh, reporters, what's your best moment in the Senate? Because uh, I think sometimes people don't think there's that many best moments. Well, I answer that in about one second. And my best moment uh, was when I got to go to the back of the cloakroom of the United States Senate and call Scott and Katie and tell them that the Virginia Graham Baker Pool Safety Act had passed. And I am convinced that it would not have happened uh, without uh, their fortitude and their leadership. Because after Abby uh, was in uh, that tragic entrapment in that pool, they immediately got involved. And one of the reasons they got involved was because of Abby's spirit. I actually visited her uh, in the hospital right after this happened. And she literally looked at a senator, that little girl, and they said, well, what do you want? You know, most kids would say, well, I want a toy or I want to go to McDonald's. She said, I want to make sure this never happens to anyone again. And that's what they took as their inspiration. And literally, Scott would call me every week on my cell phone. And as you guys know, things take a long time in Washington. And I'd say to him, well, we just had a hearing in record speed, and this bill's been kicking around for four years. The fact that we had a hearing, well, why won't it be done next week? And then he'd call again, is it going to be done this week? Uh, and it makes a difference. He was so incredibly persistent. Uh, thankfully, uh, it looks like Abby's wish is coming true uh, thanks to the leadership of Commissioner Tenenbaum and the Consumer Product Safety Commission because we got that law passed, President Bush signed it into law, uh, and then that was part of the hard work. But the other part of the hard work was the enforcement and mostly the education like you're hearing today. Uh, we do know, and again, things can go wrong, but since 2009, uh, we haven't had a child die uh, from entrapment in a pool drain, uh, which is a very good record. But we still know there are other issues with swimming pools, which is why we're here today. There are still 300 kids, as the mayor and the commissioner noted, 300 kids under the age of five who drown in swimming pools and spas every single year. On top of that, another 3,000 kids head to the hospital. And the worst part of this is we know that none of it has to happen. I'm a mom myself. I know how you can have that moment where you look away, you're talking to someone, you're reading the newspaper, um, and you don't watch for that minute. Well, sometime that minute when that kid runs out to the backyard pool um, or you don't watch because they're getting on a diving board that they shouldn't get on, that can be the minute that can be the difference uh, between life and death. And it's something that we have to remember every single day. So I would just end by, again, uh, giving my appreciation uh, to the Taylors for this. Um, Abby Taylor was a pretty special little six-year-old girl. And like all other girls, she loved to splash around in the swimming pool. So when we tell her story, uh, we don't tell it because we want to scare kids or uh, keep them from enjoying great water parks like this one. 
Uh, we tell it because we want to educate children and their families. We want to tell it because uh, we want our kids to know uh, that they can play in the water and not get hurt. That's what this event is about. It's also what Abby's Hope, the foundation that Scott and Katie founded, is working to promote every single day. They have never given up. They started not having ever done anything like this before. They started this foundation. Uh, they've gotten their word out, not just in Minnesota, but all over the country. Uh, and I know uh, that Abby is smiling down on us right now. I know she especially likes her mother's dragonfly shirt, because uh, Abby loved dragonflies. Um, and um, this is for her. So it's my honor uh, to introduce a woman that continues to inspire me in my work, Katie Taylor.